How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Blue Shifting. Alright, so last time on Sunrider we finished up our fantastic vacation, talked to all the, all the waifus, and we're finally going to start some missions. Now we've got like uh, three side missions we can do and then probably progress the main storyline. I want to try and do all three. I don't know if it'll let us, but I think it will. Now, there was um, there's a weird thing at Farpoint uh, on the moon that's supposed to be a Ruvian artifact. That sounds interesting. I really want to do that one, but... On Verestia, there's something a little bit more interesting. I think it's an ambush of a supply station where we're going to try and take out some packed heavy cruisers before they can fight back. I think I'm going to do that one first. And then the third one is going to be um, taking out um, some pirates that have been gathering again in Tidaria. But uh, for now, we're going to help the war effort. And boom, off we go. Oh, it's good to be back in command. Warp complete. We have caught the packed fleet by surprise. Red alert! All hands prepare for combat. Oh, straight to the chase. I guess it's not main plot line, so that makes sense. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Add player units? Do we get a, like... <gasps> I get to choose where I spawn in the map? Ooh. Those are resupply stations. Cruisers. Personally, I'd like to start from the back. Let the riders come to me while I just slam into these guys as much as possible. Because I think, if I remember correctly, we're supposed to be able to, um... They, they won't be up and about right away. Very good. Alright. I like it. I can start off with my really tight cluster. And, uh, so my plan is to kind of, like, smash right into them first off. Like, this first group. You can't see my mouse, but, uh, obviously right where I'm next to. I'm gonna just zoom in, just take them out as fast as possible. Um, then I'll proceed to the back because I want to get these heavier tank your, these heavier ships out of the way on the far right side um, Before I have to worry about these guys too much, and I know reinforcements will come soon. So we have to be quick So let's see how I do We have two turns remaining until the pack battleships active captain. Holy crap only two Okay, well Issue your command Initiating <laughs> We initiate with this. We have struck the enemy. Excellent. I'll be able to take this one out. Firing order. On target. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Seraphim here. Awaken. You're watching over me, Captain? Of course I am. Captain! Yep, just one with six damage. Our hole is beginning to fracture. Calm down. It's only hit me. Two got through that time. Oh, just one. <laughs> Still. Beginning to fracture. Ah, oh, so nice. That was luck. That was skill. More missiles. It'd be cool because, like, in real life, they'd all be all these missiles. Like, that we've had a round where we've had tons of missiles flying through the air. And if you think about it, like, if it were like a movie, they would all have been firing at the same time. So all my riders who were doing like the flak and stuff would have been running around shooting them out of the sky while they were flying at us. Like, it would look pretty epic. All right, so Seraphim. Captain. Well, might as well use you to. The fire on that one that's far away. Providence awaits. I think she could have killed the other, another like a whole cruiser by herself right there, but might as well take them out. Jeez, so, so much damage. Oh yeah. So we took out all their major battle cruisers before they could wake up. Like that went perfectly as you could, I could ever expect. What? I'm not doing this. Okay. <laughs> oh look at the poor little platform. Congratulations. <laughs> well, well, All well. All systems are green. Let go, go, go! The Sunrider is at your dis- All ahead, full. Firing <laughs> it, it is solid, Captain. Yes. Beautiful. Man, that went well. Victory! Victory! Oh. So beautiful, just oh, feels good. Feels really good. Mission complete, Captain. All packed units have been eliminated. 
All units fall back to the Sunrider. Let's get out of here before Pact brings reinforcements. And boom. <laughs> what a perfect mission. I'm not used to things going that well. Uh, let's see. So, I will upgrade a little bit. So, once I get back with this, we'll probably do another mission. This is funny because like after so much talking we've had, you're going to pretty much see me jumping from battle to battle. Because I honestly think those battles are pretty boring. So, there's a reason I cut them out mostly. And plus, honestly... This is something I think you guys could enjoy, so if you could download the game, and I don't want to take all the mystery of the combat out for you. Um, but I do tell you my basic plans, but anyway, I'll see you on the other side. We'll get started right away. So, I decided to do something kind of differently. I spent a majority of my money this round on my riders, because I haven't been upgrading them like at all. I've been focusing on the Sun Rider being our main push, and it makes sense. The Sun Rider is pretty much critical to our mission. If it falls, everyone dies. Riders can fall and be regenerated. However, I don't know if it's good to just ignore them. So I think with the money I'm going to get from these few missions, I'm going to just go and try and give them all just a, a little boost in everything. Because the first upgrades are pretty cheap. For instance, I pretty much fully upgraded Shigara and um, Ikari like, just with that last battle. Pretty awesome. Um, I mostly did that because those are the two I'm most concerned about. Um, Ikari keeps falling way too quickly. Uh, because of how aggressive she is, but she's just so effective. I want to keep her on the battlefield more. more. And then Chigara, of course, is absolutely critical to maintaining our fleet size. So, um, I will go and start another side mission. Let's see. I want to do the Farpoint one. I want to see what happens here. So, investigate lost technology. Who knows what will happen. Um, lots of people have been falling here, so <laughs> we'll see. I think it'll be okay. Crossing our fingers. Boom. Warp complete, Captain. We are approaching the last known whereabouts of the Alliance squad. Keep scanning for Alliance signatures. Those ships can't have simply disappeared into thin air. Or could they? I'm picking up something on scanners. Debris. Alliance made. Looks like we found our missing squad. Warning! I'm detecting new energy signatures. Packed. No. Reuvian! Thought so. Red alert! More ghost ships? I've got a bad feeling about this, Captain. Perhaps we should retreat. Ooh. Oh, this is a tough one. I'm gonna save. I'm cheating. I know, but I need to save. <laughs> I wanna- I wanna know what's going on here. I imagine this is gonna be a very hard fight, but if we can pull it off, there's a big reward. The ships are guarding something. Something very valuable. We're gonna find out what. Hi, Captain! Charging weapons! All units attack! Maybe we can't retreat either. You never know, but... Oh boy, those ships look big. There's a lot of them, too. Okay. I really like this... I really like this, the way I can plan out, like... Where my people are. Ready to roll. Hmm. Unless they pump out riders. Initiate Fire. We have struck the enemy. Okay. I want to see if somebody else's Start. kinetic can finish it off. Commencing bombardment. Surrender. Perfect. Or I will resume hostility. The sun rider awaits orders. Fire six. Very good. Now, Claude, we need your expertise. <laughs> this is so silly. Okay, two down. That's a great first round. <laughs> Interesting that they're firing her. Which I don't mind. She can be our tank. Oh, it's because they had flak. They use their flak. That's that's probably the biggest thing about it. Captain, new unit has just joined the battle. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. Um, the retreat order is available to escape from this battle. Oh, oh, great. <laughs> Whoa. What the heck are you? All right. So, Chigara. Do you need something scanned, Captain? Flak off. Conducting digital warfare. Issue your command. Your missiles are away. Let's see what happens. What the fetch is that thing? The attack is successful. 
<laughs> it took a one. It took only half the damage. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is this thing? The enemy will be neutralized. I'm gonna kill one of them. Dang it. It took my two highest powered rockets, but I'm gonna do it. On target. I have a feeling those things are gonna be trouble. So. Charging rifle. All right, let's see what these things can do. Okay, and they move fast. Oh, that's a big rocket. Oh, that was three hits. That's okay, that's okay. Though, they're fast. They are very, 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 very fast. Fetch. Requesting repairs. I need her! I wonder, okay, maybe this will be the first time I can test, like, getting them back. Our hole is holding! Our hole is holding! Okay. Beginning to fracture. I, I'm aware of this. Our hole is beginning to fracture. Sections 32, 16, and 2 have been compromised. The heck are those things? They appear to be stand um they appear to be standard automated. No, I'm gonna do the voice again. They appear to be standard automated Rubin riders. Standard? What are those standard? They are in quite excellent condition, despite their age. I speculate they have been receiving automated maintenance, perhaps from the hidden facility on Farpoint Moon. Seriously? How come your rider doesn't do any of that? Regrettably, the Seraphim is merely a humble scout rider, and the most advanced systems have decayed due to millennia of non-use. Wow, her is a scout rider? It's one of the strongest of mine. Oh my gosh. Wait, so yours isn't even a real rider? Oh, she's embarrassed. Oh, good, good going, you idiot. You hurt her feelings. Those things are terrifying. But I think we can do this, guys. Oh, okay, wow, that takes that takes a lot of points. But I think I want your command. I'm here. Okay. Yes, Captain. I think we're gonna need her. We're gonna really need her. All missiles free. How did they miss? How did they miss? It had a one percent chance of missing, and they missed. Oh my freaking goodness! Uh, Captain. Yeah, Chigara, I'm not feeling very good about this either. Oh, I'm scared. I'm really scared, guys. Okay, missiles. No. No, not Chigara! Oh my gosh. No! Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Oh, Chigara, can you heal yourself? Oh, you were there, Captain? Thank goodness. Okay. What? I'm not doing this because I like you. I'll get there before anyone else. One Sixty percent. Easy out. Oh my gosh. That's that's not gonna go well. Oh, it's gonna be close, guys. I think we can pull this off, but it's gonna be freaking close. Oh no. I'm glad I get counterattacks now, that's nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, wait, no, no. Okay. Yeah, so far. So far. Okay, 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 
Okay. Unleashing. Come on, take it out, take it out. Yes! Oh, we killed one. Oh my gosh. Well, we'll kill two. It took my two big rockets, and then it took her blast to the facing it twice, and me slashing it twice. Yes. Oh. Heck. Yes. Bring him down, boys. Let's go. Okay, I think we got this. Dang, that was close. <laughs> they would have sliced their way through us like a hot knife through butter if I hadn't been able to like just coordinate my attacks. I'm really glad I used my two rockets on that one. I think that probably was the big, the clinch decision. I didn't know. All right. We are going to destroy you all. On target. Perfect. Yes, sir. Commencing bombardment. I want to see one successful. All the kinetic weapons firing. On target. Perfect. And then Claude, would you like to? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Here. Would you like to clean Locking them up, so Sola? Oh man, I forgot that Claude was taken down. Alright. Victory! Whew. That was close. That was way intense. My goodness. I got a lot of command points. <laughs> I made up for that little, that little ice bend. Mission successful, Captain. All hostiles have been neutralized. What were those things? Our sensor data suggested they were automated defense with defenses with pre-programmed combat instructions. Automated defenses, huh? Put together a search party and land on the moon. Whatever those things were guarding could be useful to us. Understood, Captain. I want to see what this is. Our search party has returned. We found an ancient Rivian facility hidden in a ravine on the moon. While most of the technology within was beyond salvage, we did manage to recover this. Ooh. It's the Allspark! <laughs> Interesting. A any ideas what it is? I had Sola and Shigari take a look. This little device has the power to phase, in u phase the user between alternate universes. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, what? Uh, in English, please? I know what that means. Jakara tells me that our timeline is merely one of an infinite number of alternate universes, all of which run simultaneously to our own, uh, the Many Worlds theory. This device allows you to phase into another nearby parallel universe, where a single event is changed to your choosing. Holy crap! Ava, stop. You're, you're hurting my head. <laughs> you have discovered the Wish-All, a lost technology allowing you to make one free command decision before it's consumed. This device holds quite a fearsome power. It can be used to change your reality drastically if used at the right moment. It may even make the difference between life and death. Alternatively, it seems quite a number of people would be interested in purchasing this device as well. Uh, no. Safita has put together quite a lengthy buyer's list. The best offer we've received is 10,000 credits from Lord Dom of Therelia. Of course. Uh, about the whole messing with reality bit? What if someone goes who buys this wishing to make for us to disappear or something? Chigar tells me that the device merely phases the user into an alternate universe. That our own timeline should not be affected by whatever the purchaser does. Good to know. It's your call, Captain. I'll leave the device with you for safekeeping. I'm gonna hold on to that. I think... I don't know. It's probably not, but it'd be really cool if it's like, Hey, you can use this in battle, or if like you happen to have it at a critical point in the storyline, it could like change the outcome and give you an alternate ending or something. That'd be cool. So I'm going to hold off on that. And you know what? It has been quite a while. I mean, well, actually I'm not. 
All right, so I don't know exactly how long this is going to end up being, so I'm going to end up cutting out pretty much all the battles, which is pretty much all that's been here. So I'm going to do one more side quest with the pirates, and then we're going to be done for today. So let's go to Tidaria. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? What am I doing? I got to go upgrade my stuff. I'll be right back when I do that. <laughs> All right, we're back. So I spent the rest of the money on upgrading like the rest of the riders. Went pretty good. Some basic upgrades, you know, trying to make sure that they can stay alive longer. I then splurged and bought myself an Alliance Cruiser. <laughs> I have no idea how it'll turn out. I want to see how it works. Um, and uh, anyway, then we're going to annihilate the pirate base. Awesome. Warp complete, Captain. We are approaching the pirates. Red alert. All hands, prepare for combat. I like these kind of like side mission ones, they're nice and chill. Like, yeah. Okay, so it looks like it's almost, oh, there's like three bases. I remember the bases can attack too. So I might be tempted to use my missiles on those bases. Because otherwise, I don't see anything super heavy coming into play here. Come on, Chigar. Let's see if you can finish her off. Oh, hey. Try again. Don't get any <laughs> she missed it again. Oh, dear. Alright. And down it goes. That was nice and clean. Nothing too exciting. Just basic combat. Beautiful cleanup, though. Absolutely stunning. Our, our team is awesome. All pirates have been neutralized. Good job, everyone. We're retrieving our riders. One more thing, Captain. During the battle, we discovered a group of former Sarah Space Force sailors working with the pirates. Whoa, that's cool. They're most likely deserters who signed up in the local pirates after our government was dissolved. They surrendered during the battle and are offering to join our ranks. What should we do with them? Uh... Hmm. That's tough. That's a really tough one, because... I understand why they deserted. Makes sense. However, they put, took up piracy. But we can maybe forgive them. They must have forgotten themselves. We can use some more hands. Bring them aboard, give them their old uniforms back. Disappointing. I would rather not stare our ship with a band of cutthroats. They're just sailors, Ava. What were they supposed to do after the whole government collapsed overnight? <sighs> Very well, Captain. I suppose our waste management team could use some more help. I don't know. I, it's like, I believe in second chances. I really think it's important to like recognize that people aren't perfect. And to expect them to be perfect is foolishness. There's a point where you can't do that anymore, but I don't know. I think, I think we owe them the benefit of doubt, honestly. Oh, uh, what shall we do? What shall we do? Let me see. Time to upgrade the Sunrider itself. Research and development. What do I want to upgrade? All right, and thank you so much for joining me for this one. So it's funny. So we had dialogue, dialogue, dialogue episodes, and now we've had side missions, which are pretty much just cut and dry battles. But they were awesome, and I think we're really ready for whatever the next big mission is. I even think we were able to finish a mission that we weren't supposed to be able to finish, or like it was supposed to be really hard, because it was really hard. Like, it may not have looked like it, but if you think about it, those things could one-shot all of my riders. Um, if I hadn't been able to take out, to, to destroy one right at the beginning of the battle, to slow down another one with the Seraphim on its way to us, and then had the two melee girls be able to beat the crap out of them as when they got there, like, we would not have survived, I don't think. Um, but... Thank you so much for joining me. I'm excited to see what the next uh, major plot twist is going to be. So until you see me in the next video or whatever video you see me in, I'll see you there.